if you want your lights on, where should government get the money from to be able to pay these uh, IPPs so that the lights will be on? You see, when we are not honest to ourselves, that is where the problem comes. Nobody is saying that when we enjoy these um, freebies, it wasn't actually cool for us. The truth of the matter is because, I mean, business activities were stalled. So the assumption is that whatever you need to do in order to earn, to be able to buy, you are not doing it. So let's help you out. Most people were staying at home and staying at home without light, without entertainment and other things could also lead to other things. Now, people have bound back to economic activity, but how have we actually come out as individuals? compared to us a nation also. So they shouldn't look at the picture as if Ghana it belongs to just the few people that will sit and determine that things are not right. The people that are in the country are the people that makes it, you, they are the indicators whether things are right or not. And so when the things that you are introducing are likely to be burdensome to the extent that the people will not actually find life comfortable doing it, then it is actually important that as leaders, and as managers of the economy, you look at innovative ways. Like I've said, there are people in this country that come on air flaunting their riches and other things, and God knows how many, how, how much they pay in terms of their taxes. There are the data problem we have in this country. I will always say that until we solve that problem, this issue of taxes will always be a challenge because it's so easy to put it on whatever it is that the people cannot avoid. So once we all need the power. Then when you're able to succeed in putting that 15 percent you get it from it but the truth of the matter is that those monies will definitely not solve the problem there will be a point in time you will come back and say that we tried this but the the the, the money the whatever we owe is so huge it couldn't do it but there are people that are actually earning from our natural resources from this same country so much and these people, based on their political affiliation, connections, some of them avoid paying taxes. And they stay in this country and enjoy their riches and show them to us. And then when we need money to solve the problem for the ordinary Ghanaian to enjoy, we come back to the ordinary Ghanaian to take from the little that he earns. That is why it is the, the indirect tax system is so regressive. But, and it's the easiest way to get the money. But we are not being creative in order to be able to target the very people that can help us come out of these challenges. Now, we are talking about the fact that don't we want the light? The truth is, <laughs> we have all been seeing what goes around. When will the electricity problem solve? When, when, when will it be solved? From doom so we have come to a, a, a much more stable era. Doom now doom it is doom CAC. <laughs> now it is, now I don't know what it is again. Because I, where I stay, my wife will tell you, there are times she will tell me that, are you the only pe person who knows people in UCG? And I'm saying, no, sometimes I just have to call to let them know that is it part of the doom CAC? Mm -hmm. So that I'll psych myself knowing that I'm sleeping over. What is the expectation of uh, uh, TUC well, in, the, in, this, in this regard? No, right? in this regard, yeah. what the TUC has not actually come out. You know, the Secretary General at one uh, inauguration actually made this statement. And technically, it's because he represents the voice of the people. And when a statement like that is made in public, it tells you what is coming from the base. Our expectation is that we are not in the position as ordinary Ghanaians or workers to be able to shed off that 15% from our little salaries. We are not in the position. Government must be innovative enough in generating money from the sources, when we say broaden the net, it doesn't mean that every time just slap uh, taxes on everyone. Broaden the net means that there are still areas that you are not doing enough. Be creative. Get to them. Stop the support that you get from them and then when the name calling the friends and then the, uh, I mean, relationship thing. And then if that is what we need, we all agree that taxes are important in managing the economy and building the country, in doing social amenities and other things. But where do you take the money from? Now, the one that the lifeline people that we are talking about, technically, we are likely to actually say that those people that are either patching, uh, some, some, they do some extension and put one light bulb so that they can sleep the next morning, they get up and go. They are the people that we may be talking about. If you have a family, if you have children, these days that um, GTV does the e-learning the TV learning and other things, if you want your children to benefit from all these There's things. There's a joint news channel for The joint news on, channel. On if all these things are supposed to benefit the family, and you don't have the means to do that, because the electricity 
that you are supposed to use to make these TVs stand on, stay on to be able to provide these services. You cannot pay. I remember last year somewhere, you know,